Hey folks, Jihondo here, and welcome back to Auction Not Included. This is episode 116. In the last episode, getting sick of all the power problems, I plugged in three more of these nat gas generators to produce tons of power. Hopefully our uh, nat gas supply can hold up, but we'll see how it goes. A lot of that power, of course, is going to this happy gentleman here, the diamond press and accompanying rad bolt generators for it. Um, this, so this will eventually build all the diamond we need. I'm hoping to not have to run it as much. There is still some diamond here on Drapal. We grabbed some of it, but I did not grab all of it. There's still a fair bit here. So I think for today, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a wee trip to Drapal. We haven't been there in a little while, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's speed this up. Uh, the other thing I'm going to mention for anyone who is playing along with the same mods I'm using um, as you know, I've been very unhappy with the research queuing mod, but I was afraid to take it out. Uh, it updated at some point in the last couple of days, so the game removed it for me. So I'm, I told it, like I, I, I told it to go ahead and you know do the update, but I did not re-enable it, and so far nothing has exploded. So officially, we are not using the research queue mod anymore, and so far nothing has blown up. So I think we're getting away with it. Hopefully we're getting away with it, but stay tuned. Either way, I didn't like it because it, every time I loaded the game, if I had a queue, it would drop one of them. It was very annoying. So, anyway. So I thought I would mention that for anyone who is using the same mod list. It is technically slightly different now. So what are you going to work on first? You're just kind of doing some general cleanup type stuff, refilling deodorizers and that. Okay, that's fine. I mean, at some point I would like you to do that, but it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. But yeah, if you can dig some of this out, that will be less runs of the diamond press. And that would be very nice. I just haven't a clue how much this is going to turn into. Although, I mean, there's a lot here. I, this might actually be enough. I record these well in advance, so it's been quite a while since the comment. But I had a comment mentioning, you know, don't forget you can grab diamond out of oil biomes, and that's fine. Um, but I thought I had already grabbed most of it, but I didn't know there was this much still queued. Because I know we grabbed a bit from, I think it was up here or something, I don't remember exactly. Maybe it was just, like, here. Anyway, I thought we'd actually grab most of it, but clearly we only get, got a little bit of it, so. Yeah, because there's a good 500 kilos there. Huh. There's apparently 36 tons of diamond available on this map. Okay, I may not need that diamond press after all. That would be very nice. So I'm actually going to preemptively... I'm not going to take it apart, but I'm going to disable it. Or at least the um, the rad bolts, because they take a ton of power anyway. So I'm just going to disable it. I'm not going to take it apart until I actually have the diamond back, so I can be 100% sure I have enough. But yeah, I would much rather just transport this diamond across and not even remotely have to deal with that press. Well, this is fantastic. So clearly the note I left myself about how much diamond there was was completely wrong. <laughs> Having said that, I do need you to actually move some of this diamond over, so... Is that what you're sending now? Okay, yes it is. You are sending diamond already. Okay, good. Much is left in here still. Oh, well, there's a good couple hundred kilos in there still. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, where are you? You are still digging. Okay. I 
guess if I need this diamond, I'll build a ladder. But this might, oh, what I've already dug out here might very well be enough anyway. In fact, I think it is. Yeah, I don't think I even need this. I'll, I'll leave it tagged just in case, but I don't think I even need it. Hmm, okay, fair enough. Now you're doing the compost. Okay, that's fine. Now you're going to work on oh, some repairs. That's fine. And then this part here, which is completely covered in snow now. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Do you seriously go out and around to here? Oh, because this part's been completely snowed in by falling snow from up here. I see. There you go. Now you can loop around easier. Craziness. <laughs> anyway, what I should do, I should tell him to get the... There was one here that was, yeah, this one here. This is basically the amount we need by itself. All right, we need 2,500 kilos. This is 2,400 of it by itself. So I have you move just that one piece over. We could be basically done here. So please do that. And then after that, we're going to have to have you run on the wheel a bit. Because this stuff here is just not getting pushed across. I guess the other option is I let some of these uh, solar panels do their job. So, I guess I can try it like that. Because I think I got all the wires done. I think. Either way. Where did you go? Okay, yeah, you're moving the diamond now. Okay. Which will probably take you several trips because that is a lot of it. But not a problem. There we go. Yeah, let's get all that moved. Beautiful. Tons of diamonds. This is fantastic. Okay. Excellent. And now you're going to go on break, right? That's fine. Okay. Printables. Let us grab. We still are going to need a ton of steel or steel components like iron and lime and coal. So that's what I'm looking for. One or the other of those. Some combination of coal, steel, iron, or lime. Either way, I'll be back. And the game has chosen lime for this one, and that's fine. It's a steel component. We need it anyway. Alright, so all this diamond should be coming out of here. It's probably being blocked by all this water. There's too much gas in here, is that what's happening, or is it because of this? So, you know, let's just get rid of this square. See if we can get a better angle. Maybe some of this water can just leak. In the meantime, how are we doing here? How's your suit? Uh, still okay for a little while. So I can let you get a little bit more done. By which I mean have a nap. That'll probably do it. <laughs> yeah. Of course you're in low morale. You're on a crummy little asteroid all by yourself. Of course it sucks here. And yeah, I think we'll just send you back when you wake up. There's no need to push too hard here. 
We're doing great. Okay, and then we got some crushed ice. Thank you for that. I don't in the slightest measure care. <laughs> suit off now, right? Yes, that was the other thing that suit thing was bothering me, but I think we have that sorted now, so that's fine. Okay, so that did, like, almost nothing in terms of draining the water here, so thank you for that. <laughs> Alright, forget it. We'll just make them do it the yucky way. I deliberately put in these this gap here, hoping that liquid would just flow through, but there must just still be too much gas in here. Oh yeah, there's 13 kilos of CO2 trapped in here. So maybe then, maybe instead of mopping, maybe we just dig all that out and not worry about it. I guess to make it official we can have a mesh tile there just so the floor is flat, but it's really not, not super critical. Okay, and the other thing I want to do, I was trying to decide where the statue is going to go. Now we already have a pretty good semi-open area here, but I think it's wider than this. So I was kind of thinking maybe it would go here, because that's like gallons and gallons of space. And if I just bring the ladder up from here, they won't have to use the spacesuit to get to it. So I think what we're going to do, we just arbitrarily, you know, We'll let them ladder their way up here. What I'll probably do is just put a couple of bins here and let them start storing like the diamond and the glass and all that. And they can just, as they have time, they can start storing it. So later when it's time to build it, most of the stuff hopefully will already be there. Hopefully being the operative word. Where is officially the floor going to be? I guess it doesn't matter because it's not going to line up to the floor anyway, I suppose. So it probably doesn't actually matter. So yeah, why don't I just carve a little spot here and we'll just put some bins in. Two of them should do it. And they can just kind of get to that whenever. It's not really super urgent. I'd much rather them do this first, to be honest. Actually, if they do that, they won't be able to do these, so these have to go first. And maybe let's have them eh, kind of get to it. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. said that I still don't see anybody getting around to it so that's nice <laughs> I guess the other thing we can do I can reconnect these I disconnected them because I didn't want them trying to go through here without the spacesuits but it's much less important now so they can do it through with or without I don't really mind anymore um, doing pretty well here So that's excellent. How's the nat gas looking? Still hanging in there. This is getting down, it's come down a little bit, but it's still pretty good. There's a lot in the tank on that one. And where's the other geyser? I can never remember where the other one is. Why can I never remember where the other one is? Right here. Okay, so there's not much in this one. This one must have been dormant. Yeah, it's gone dormant. It's going to be off for 20 more days. That's not ideal. Okay, but this one will still be going past that point, so we're going to be living off of this one, basically. But for now, that's totally fine. And I'm assuming you're off for temperature. Yeah, it's too hot in here. Okay. That's actually fine, because that lets their 
be a lot of gas built up before we get to it. some diamond being pushed across so that's very good and I was already about to push this up to priority 7 but I can see I don't actually need to it's being done right now yeah it's cold here it sucks I know should I don't know if it would be better to try and just get rid of some of this gas to let it flow or just to keep digging away at the floor to let it go I don't know which way I like better we'll start with uh, doing the floor and we'll open this up even more See if we can get something going there. Meanwhile, well, they're about half done my ladder. It's pretty good. They're not going to be enjoying working through this terrible gas getting to it, but so be it. <laughs> it's a little bit on the cold side there. They're not going to enjoy that either, but anyway. No one said working for me was easy. <laughs> So yeah, this has been right filled up now. Okay, so it's working on abyssalite now. Why did I want abyssalite? I really don't think I did. <laughs> In fact, did I just like say everything here? Is that the problem? Yeah, it is, isn't it? And if we take manual use off, so they'll stop manually bringing stuff here, and we'll just let the sweeper push stuff in here. That'll make a lot more sense. So anything that does drop out from here, this thing can do. That'll make a lot more sense. And it looks like we might have been just short of a diamond unless some of it's still... Some of this might be diamond. I saw abyssalite, copper. So let's, we'll have to wait for more of this to migrate. Eventually work your way up. Yeah, and then you'll just drop off up here. Okay. And then these very full bins can sort it out. <sighs> Lots of copper and abyssalite. Really just need like one or two drops of diamond and that would do it. But I mean, if I have to use the diamond press like once or twice, I mean, that's fine. That's nowhere near as bad as I originally had thought. But we'll let all that do its thing. But yeah, I may have to go back to drip all or turn this back on very briefly. But we can wait on that. That's not super urgent. Suppose the actual statue maybe will go more to the left, so maybe I should have done these ladders a bit further over. Maybe that would have made more sense, right? There. And then the actual statue can just basically be here. I'll just build a floor across here for it, and uh, that'll be lovely.
think that should be wide enough. I really don't remember. Um, I don't know if this thing will tell me. Monument base. Oh, it's only five across? Why did I think it was enormous? Okay, so it doesn't even have to be anywhere near this big. I thought this thing was way bigger than that, but anyway, that's fine. Surely it's not only that wide, right? Surely not. Well, we'll start with that anyway and see how it goes. Five high, five high, and five high. Okay, so the whole thing's 15. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And it'll end here. Beautiful, okay. So if that's the end of it there, then what we'll do is we'll put the bins. And I'll spell bin right, I really will. <laughs> put them here and here. And then I might be able to do an auto sweeper to actually do the building, right? Like if I just put an auto sweeper somewhere close enough to these, like somewhere like here for an example, that might do it. That could build, then that can transfer stuff from here. Then maybe I'll probably have to build another one for the middle and base or something and just drop the stuff. But either way, I think that will. Having said that, by the time it's all up here, I don't know how relevant that is. Maybe we won't worry about that. Either way, I think the statue is going to be basically that. So let's leave some squares here and there for them to stand on while they're working on it. Yeah. Just a couple of spots they can stand on to dig the last bits out. That'll be fine. Yeah, that's a horrible environment to work in. <laughs> Nothing but hydrogen gas, as far as the eye can see. Talk about burning your eyes out. <laughs> anyway. Did you seriously get yourself stuck in here? Okay, somebody has to come dig Amari out. Like, right now. Like, right now, right now, thank you. Okay, so some more of that diamond landed, so we actually do have enough. So I actually do not need this diamond press after all. So glad I bothered researching and building that. <laughs> ah, well, that's okay. It was fun, it gave me something to do, right? But the way things currently sit, I have enough ceramic, although I think we use ceramic for... We use ceramic for something? Maybe not. I think it's just iron and lime, right? For, for steel? Pretty sure. Yeah, because it's, it's refined carbon, so it's not ceramic. So I might need more coal, but I have enough ceramic. That part's all done. Have enough diamond. Okay, glass we don't have, but I think I queued up. I have a half memory of doing the math and figuring out how many more I needed, so I think that's enough. I guess when it gets closer, I can redo it to verify, but I think that's enough. We definitely have enough obsidian, that's not even a question. So the main one we're going to be working on then is going to have to be steel. We are going to need just a staggering amount of steel. Which of course means a staggering amount of iron and a large amount of lime. I think I was using this one for, right? Yes. Well, I only have enough for ten more there. And I don't have any fossils right now. Fair enough. So I definitely need more lime. 
for sure. Either way though, I will find something that we need and I'll be back. Well, it's not lime, but we'll definitely need more iron as well, so we might as well just have some more of that. That will save some processing time. And that will be good. Okay, well, I think we're going to leave things there for today, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really does help. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. See ya.